Hi friends, I'm David from David O Yoga and welcome to day 30 of your 30 day yoga challenge. So here we are, we made it to the end together, supporting one another, growing, learning, exploring. What a great journey of self exploration this has been, right? I've loved spending these 30 days with you and I really hope that you've enjoyed it too. But this is not the end by any means because these are all practices that you can keep coming back to again and again. And each time you're gonna learn something new about yourself. That's the beauty of this practice. So today I have a sweet yin yoga practice for you that will help open your hips and your heart. Let's begin in a comfortable seat. You can sit with legs crossed. You can sit up on your heels, up on a cushion, whatever it takes for you to feel comfortable, grounded, and relaxed. So let the shoulders melt away from the ears, sit nice and tall through the spine. So as we've been doing these last few practices, we'll begin with a calming breath. And with that, we'll add a special mudra, which is a hand position that cultivates a specific energy. And today we're working with something called Uttara Bodhi Mudra, Uttara Bodhi Mudra. It's fun to say and it's fun to do. <laughs> so what does it do? Uttara Bodhi Mudra awakens and opens up the heart. It allows more energy to flow inward and outward through the heart. And this allows us to feel and experience the wisdom, the beauty and the truth that is in our spiritual heart. Okay, so how do you do it? You take the tips of the index fingers and the tips of the thumbs together, thumbs pointing down, index fingers pointing up, and then you just interlace the other fingers, right? And then you hold Uttara Bodhi Mudra at your heart, index finger pointing up. And then from here, close your eyes, relax the shoulders, and begin to breathe easily in through the nose and out through your nose. Each breath, letting yourself relax a little bit more deeply. And just hold the mudra softly at your heart. Notice if you're gripping or straining a little bit. Invite yourself to loosen and soften. And begin to relax from the crown of your head across the scalp to your forehead and your brow. Continue with big, full, deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Every inhale, feeling a sense of expansion and opening beginning in the heart area. And every exhale, a feeling of release, tension, melting away, dissolving into the breath. Relax your eyes and your cheeks. Feel the in-breath directed toward the heart. As you inhale, a sense of space and opening and expansion in the heart. Relax your cheeks, your jaw, your tongue. Relax your neck and your shoulders. Feel all of the muscles of the upper body soft, easy. And let's say this silent mantra together. I welcome the self-knowledge and divine wisdom that is in my heart to flow freely into all areas of my life. May this wisdom be my inspiration and my guide. And may I remember to always keep my heart open so that I always have access to its truth. Again, I welcome the self-knowledge and divine wisdom that is in my heart to flow freely into all areas of my life. May this wisdom 
be my inspiration and my guide. And may I always remember to keep my heart open so that I always have access to its truth. Let's sit for a few more moments, eyes closed, relaxing into each breath and allow whatever feelings, sensations that arise. Keeping your eyes closed, as you exhale, release the mudra, let the hands come down to your knees, and dip your chin to your chest. Roll the left ear to the left shoulder, and back through center, right ear to right shoulder. Big, full, deep breaths. As you take the head back and forth like this, let's go to the other side, just moving with your own pace. And as you breathe, feel the breath opening up the neck, the shoulder. Let the opposite shoulder fall away from the ear. Back and forth we go. Keeping your eyes closed, sit up nice and tall. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. Inhale, lift the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let the shoulders fall down your back. Again, big breath in, the shoulders rise, nice and easy. Let them drop down your back. Let's switch up the direction here. Inhale, lift the shoulders and roll them forward. And again, inhale, shoulders lift and roll them forward. Let them fall down the front of the body. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach up to the sky. Great big breath. And then cactus your arms, lion's breath. Stick the tongue out. Ha. <sighs> Blink your eyes open. Left hand behind you, plant in the ground or on the mat. Right hand to the left knee. Lift up tall through the heart. And as you exhale, a nice easy twist. Now the hands are really just there to help you get some lift and length and support. Let the twists come from your core. Gently. Exhale, unwind. We'll take it to the other side. Right hand plants behind you. Press and lift. Grow tall through the crown of your head. And exhale, deepen into the twist. Inhale, turn back to face the front. Let's uh, work into a nice warm-up forward fold here. Extend the legs long. Feet a little bit closer than hip distant. Um, feet are flexed as you inhale, reach up tall, great big breath, and as you exhale, fold forward gently, easily, reach the heart and the crown of your head forward, and just take it nice and slow, and as you continue to fold, a gentle internal rotation of the legs, turn the knees inward and spread the sit bones apart on the mat, and continue to find your fullest expression, so... You're all going to be in different places here. Just find that place where you feel a good stretch in the hamstrings, but the low back, and the hips, and everything else feels spacious and easy. A couple more breaths. Inhale, rise up a little counter stretch here. Alter pose, bend the knees. Hands and feet come down to the mat. Press into the heels, lift the hips. Let your head fall back. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let's come all the way down to our back and we'll spend a few moments warming up the hips, opening up the hips in figure four. So left ankle to the right thigh. Flex the left foot and draw that right knee into the chest. You can interlace your hands behind the right hamstring or in front of the right shin. Close your eyes here. And as you gently draw that right knee in, use your hip muscles on the left side to push the left knee gently away from you. And breathe into the left hip. Let the whole spine find its way down to ground. So back of your head, your shoulders, all the way down the spine to your hips and your sacrum. 
nicely grounded. One more breath. Exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Right ankle to the left thigh. Flex the right foot and draw that left knee in. Again, bring your eyes to close and let your body relax. A gentle pull of the left knee in, a gentle push of the right knee away to deepen. Observe where do you feel sensation. Send your breath into those places, probably somewhere in the right hip. Exhale, release the hands, draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a nice hug, a little rock side to side. And then rock or push yourself up to a seat. Sweep your legs around behind you. And let's find child's pose for a few breaths here. So sink your hips back to your heels. Big stretch through the fingers. Let your forehead come down and rest. And take a few moments to feel into the earth. Solid foundation for you to build your practice on. A safe and stable foundation. All right, slowly sit back to your heels. Okay, we're going to work into our first yin pose. And... Um, Melting heart would be that pose. So I'm going to show you a couple different variations of melting heart. Um, the first couple look just like puppy pose, right? If you're familiar with puppy pose. The only difference is here you want to keep the hips stacked over the knees and all the different variations we're going to work with. The hips stay stacked over the knees. So with the hips stacked over the knees, version one, just like puppy pose, great big reach, and then melt the heart down. And you can look down here. Now, if this, it, even this pl place is, feels like too much stretch in the shoulders, it's uncomfortable, you can use a blanket or a pillow underneath the chest here to help give you some support. If you want a little bit more from this place, then you can look forward all and coming all the way down. Let the chin come down and rest on the mat, but only if that feels good in the neck and the throat. Okay, so that's version one. Version two, I'll show you two versions of version two. <laughs> so one is with blocks. You can use two blocks. And again, keeping the knees stacked under the hips here, we're going to bring the elbows and the forearms to the blocks, and then make a prayer, prayer hands over the head, and just let the heart melt down, just like this. This is really sweet. That's version, that's one half of version two, okay, if you have blocks, or if you don't have blocks, or if you just want to try something different, this is my favorite version, you can use a pillow, a blanket, stack up some firm pillows here. And then again, keeping the knees stacked over or under the hips, place the forearms on the props, interlace the hands, keeping the hands straight here, or keeping the arms straight. Just come down and let the top of the head rest on the props and relax. So I'm going to stay here in this version. And you go ahead and find the version that works for you. And once you find your shape, close your eyes and just begin to relax and let go. I like to imagine that the heart is the bottom of a hammock. It's like my body is a hammock, the heart is in the bottom of the belly of the hammock, and it's waiting, it's weighted down, it's drawing toward the earth. I 
Allow your whole body to relax. Big deep breaths in through the nose, out through your nose. And just surrender to gravity. This is a mysterious force pulling you toward the center of the earth. It's like the earth reaching out to give you a great big hug. <laughs> Let's take another three very slow, mindful breaths. And with each exhale, invite yourself to let go a little bit more. As you inhale, slowly come forward a little bit and then you can press yourself back and let's find child's pose here. Now for child's pose, it might feel nice to take your arms back behind you. It's an option. Just a few moments of rest here. Inhale, sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front of you. And we're going to work into the hips now with something called, well, it's called many things actually, <laughs> Agni Stambhasana or Double Pigeon or Fire Log Pose. Those are the names we give it in Vinyasa. In Yin, we typically call this Square Pose. So, Bend the right knee so that the right shin is parallel to the front of the mat. And you're going to stack the left ankle on top of the right thigh just above the knee. And then adjust the legs so the shins are roughly stacked. Now, if you feel a lot of lateral pressure here and the knee is uncomfortable or the hips are very tight, you can use a block or a blanket underneath the top knee. You can also place it underneath the bottom knee. Okay? Now, if you still f find that this is very uncomfortable in the knee, then leave it and take the Janyu Shashasana option. Extend the right leg long, bring the sole of the left foot in, and then find a pillow or something to come down and fold into um, supported Janyu Shashasana, okay? That's your option. Otherwise, come with me into double pigeon or square pose. So with the shins roughly stacked, and again, both feet are flexed here. That helps to protect the knee. Sit up nice and tall. I like to just place my hands wherever they're comfortable. So one on the knee, one on the foot, if that works for you. Close your eyes, relax the shoulders. Relax the muscles of your face, your cheeks, and your jaw. Big, full breaths. It's a really fantastic hip opener. Now, you're welcome to stay here. This is great. If you'd like a little bit more, you can place some support a little support tower in front of you, pillow, blankets, blocks, and then come down to your elbows, make prayer hands, and then let your head, your forehead rest 
on the thumbs of your prayer hands. And allow yourself to relax. Let's come back to that sequence that we did in the very beginning of class. Relax from the crown of your head across the scalp, your forehead and your brow. Relax. Relax your eyes and your cheeks. This pose does a really good job of getting the outsides of the hips and the hip extenders around to the glutes and the piriformis, all really important for our health, our wellness, and places that we need to pay a little attention to if we sit a lot, which probably includes most of us, right? Couple more breaths. Really let yourself relax. As you inhale, slowly rise up. Place the props off to the side if you were using them and carefully unwind your legs if you're in square pose. If you're in Janyashasana, extend both legs long. Everyone extend both legs long. And just place your hands on either sides of the hips and just pedal the feet out a little bit here. Let's do a nice, easy forward fold. Big breath in, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Nice and easy, not pushing or forcing at all here. It's letting the upper back round a little bit if it wants to. Inhale, rise up. All right, let's do the other side. If you're in Janyushashasana, left leg long, sole of the right foot comes in. If you're in square pose or double pigeon, left leg, left shin comes parallel to the mat, and the right Ankle comes on top of that left thigh. Again, if you need any props, support underneath that top knee or the bottom knee, take that. Sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. Breathe into the places you feel sensation. Relax and allow the experience. Sometimes with hip openers, our mind can become very agitated, right? It's an emotional release, and the mind starts wandering. Use your breath as an anchor. Keep coming back to your breath. Feel, immerse yourself in the breath. Okay, if this is a good place for you, you're welcome to stay. Otherwise, place the props in front of you. I'm using a meditation cushion, a block and a blanket. You can use whatever works for you and bring your elbows down, prayer hands resting the forehead on the thumbs of prayer hands. Close your eyes and soften. I love this position. It feels really, really good in my low back around the sacrum. I feel it in the outsides of my hips. I feel it in the glutes. 
I even feel it down the IT band a little bit. Keep coming back to your breath. Feel the experience of your breath, the physical sensations. Sensing your breath coming in through the nose, down the trachea, into the lungs. Feel the expansion. Feel the release, sense of melting or tension dissolving as you exhale. If you're feeling a lot of sensation here, see if you can let go of resistance, even for just moments at a time, just let go. Allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling without pushing back, without resisting. Let's take three more slow, sweet breaths here. As you inhale, slowly rise up. Move your props off to the side. Carefully unwind your legs and extend them straight in front of you. And another easy forward fold here. This time, just tent the fingers up and walk your hands forward nice and easy. A little internal rotation of the legs as you come forward. That's a nice counter stretch in the hips. Spread the sit bones apart on the mat. Soften into your fold. Spend a couple breaths here. Inhale, slowly rise and make your way all the way to your back. As you come down to your back, hug your knees into your chest yourself a nice sweet hug, a little rock side to side here. Close your eyes. And then keep hugging the right knee and extend the left leg long on the mat. Let's go back and forth a few times here. Hugging one knee in, extending the opposite leg. And squeeze that thigh into the belly. This really helps for digestion before, after a meal. Helps to get things moving in there. <laughs> and now extend both legs long on the mat and align yourself with the right side of your mat. So the right side of the body is aligned with the right side of the mat. And take your hands and feet to the opposite corners into a banana shape. Left hand grabs the right wrist and the right ankle stacks on top of the left ankle. Feel that glorious stretch along the left side of the body. Close your eyes, relax into it. 
Let yourself just savor this sweet place. If you find your mind is feeling a little distracted, a little anxious, just invite yourself to become more fully present for these last few minutes of class. It's really important. Relax your eyes, your cheeks, and your jaw, and feel your breath. As you exhale, release the wrists, unstack the ankles. Let's make our way to the opposite side of the mat. It's the left side of the body aligned with the left side of the mat. Hands and feet to the opposite corners, and this time the right hand grabs the left wrist, and the left ankle stacks on top. And as soon as you stack that left ankle on top, you just feel this really sweet stretch that travels all the way from the foot, the left foot up the left leg, the hip, the left ribs, all the way to the left wrist. yoga, there are many thousands of what are called nadis, N-A-D-I-S, nadis, and these are like channels of energy, internal rivers and streams of energy that feed different parts of the body. In Chinese medicine, these are called meridians. Same idea. And many of these run up and down the outside, the sides of the body. So we're opening up those meridians, feeding the hips, the ribs, the chest, the arms, the legs with the, this beautiful internal healing energy. And the more you relax, the more you allow that flow to wash through you. As you exhale, release the wrists, unstack the ankles, and let yourself melt into Shavasana. If you have pillows or blankets, use them. Make yourself comfortable. Sometimes a pillow under the knees, really nice to elevate the legs. If you want to take your legs up the wall here in Viparita Karani, you're welcome to do that. And as you exhale, let, let yourself rest. Put a 
Anasya Purnamadaya Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnasya Purnamadaya Purna eva vishishte Purna eva vishishte Purna eva vishishte Purna eva vishishte Purnamida Purnamida Purnat Purnamudachite Purnamida Purnamida Purnat Purnamudachite Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnasya Purnamadaya Purna Eva Vishishite Purna eva vishishte Purna eva vishishte Purna eva vishishte Begin to bring some movement to your fingers, your toes, your wrists, and your ankles. As you inhale, stretch your hands overhead, and with a great big reach from the fingertips to the toes, wiggle your fingers and toes and feel yourself waking to a new beginning. Draw knees into chest, roll to the right side, and stay there for a moment, breathe, feel. And slowly push yourself up to your seat. Palms together at your heart. Sit nice and tall. Relax the shoulders. Let's close our practice with the healing sound of Om. Great big breath in. Ah. thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. We bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. Thank you very, very much. Hope you're feeling rested and taken care of. Good job taking care of yourself. <laughs> um, if you did enjoy this practice, please click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. These things really help to support me and it helps to support this channel and I appreciate you. Uh, if you'd like to keep this practice going, you're feeling energized now, you wanna flow, well click the flow practice next to me and it'll take you fun places. Thanks.